Yeah, dude. How is this card so good? It is completely bonkers. This is turn four. Yeah, folks, Sightless Magistrate, as we all expected, I think after seeing this one, is completely crazy. This is a four mana five four that can basically draw you five cards. And this aggro demon hunter deck from Dabs that was played to top 50 legend is utilizing Magistrate to great effect, of course, with card emptying hands like the Bibliomite and the Dispose of Evidence helping to ensure that you're almost always drawing four or five cards. Frankly, even if you draw three, a four mana five four that draws three cards, still pretty dang good when you've got a really aggressive package here with lots of damage to help end games. And I hate playing decks like this. These all in aggro decks, not my style. So I basically played this one so you wouldn't have to. I wanted you to see this deck, be aware of it, understand how it win games in case you face it on ladder. Maybe if you're a degenerate Demon Hunter player, good on you. You might want to play this one yourself, but otherwise I still thought this was important to showcase. So enjoy a few games of me suffering and opponents suffering against the Sightless Magistrate. Okay, Dread Prison Battle Warren's really nice opener. I keep that. Hill Barrage, maybe I don't love. I don't think Solution is better than Dread Prison. We want to make sure the Vanguard's active. Is Nathanos bugged? Or God. N N Nathanos! It's Nathanos, Regis! Is he, is he bugged? I don't know, man. I don't know. I know that a lot of people get very salty if you say a name wrong. I know that. Um. They probably took first flame, which is probably bad news for me. Yeah, yes. makes the vanguard far less interesting. Uh, Regis, <laughs> love doing that voice. It's so fun. Maybe I can bait the first flame with a slither spear. Regis. <laughs> So many of you are gonna be so mad. I don't usually get to make fun of YouTube commenters on YouTube. This is delightful. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Nathan's bug though to answer your question. It'll be our little secret. Good old Nathan Oss. Is I mean he worked when I played him yesterday anyway. I, I don't I, I guess I haven't seen anything since to suggest otherwise. Huh. Objection's really tough for us, maybe. So is explosive runes. I guess I can start with a second flame again and just see where it goes. I think this is one of those where I just have to play it and hope for the best, right? I'm, I'm a tad worried about Oasis ally as well, though. I'm wondering if I ever just go face. Not a concern anymore. Now we know where we go. There is some logic to using this now so that I buff this. It, it's, the question I guess is, do I think I'm gonna use it against a minion ever? Cause I may not get a free buff on this later. I don't know. I think we know where our bread is buttered though. I think, I think I'm out of steam though. I think I really need to find a good card here soon. These predations seem a little clunky to me. I, they're pretty dang expensive without the Naga activation. And I don't have that many Naga. It's really just Slither Spear and Thinno. That's it. So they do feel awkward to me. I gotta be honest. And the thing about this deck is too, you, you, you really need to play out your cards in this deck so that you can make sure you have uh, an empty hand. So that they feel very expensive to me. I don't know. They are very efficient damage. Zero for three is awesome, but maybe I'm playing this deck out a little too fast, but I don't think so, because you gotta have empty hands for this deck. You can't you can't take your time. It's not a deck where you can take your time. Oh my god. Wanna wanna talk about a draw, dude. Oh, don't be objection though. Oh god, what if it's objection again, guys? Oh, it's not, thank god, okay. <laughs> God, oh my God, dude, injection there would have been brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, 
now. We're just gonna rip more damage through. Oh, thank God. All right. Really didn't lose much of a card to the not being able to dispose, by the way, because I got to keep a Fel Barrage, basically, so same difference. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. That makes me think we're going to see a uh, counter spell. Which, what's the best thing to counter spell? Probably a multi strike. I like the idea of the Fel Barrage going over the top later, so I want to draw first if I can. Are we even a hero power or not? No, let's play cards. Ultimately, I think still playing cards is our best bet. So this is theoretically a lethal setup if I if I, if they don't have any healing. Kurtz is definitely a good card to get if we need to go a little bit longer this game if somehow. Wow, fireballing a 5-4, that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the informant means the hero power does not set them to lethal. Shoot. The barrage will hit the 2-3, so I don't have a lethal setup here. I guess that means we just Kurtris and go. Hit for two instead of uh, otherwise. Could be an Oasis ally, but we can just kill that, honestly. I don't, I don't really care about that much. More worried about face attack problems. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this out. That's fine. So if Hero Power Fel Barrage sets up the lethal now. Uh, that's totally fine. That's fine too. We can hit face first. No biggie. Yeah, Katie, I hear you. Like, yes, this is technically a little harder to hit face sometimes. My thought was also like, well, you know, any taunt, any any um, freeze, as we saw. I, I don't know how likely either of those outcomes were in a, in a secret mage deck, so maybe it's wrong to think about freeze and taunt. But using the attack while you have an open attack, historically speaking, has been advantageous in Hearthstone because then you don't have to worry about taunts or freezes or disruptions in that regard. <laughs> I hate this deck so much, but they say it's good. That's kind of what I'm going for. That's the vibe a little bit. Uh, Metamorphin, I think. I, I, I feel like the Magnifying Glaive is stuff I want to hit later, I'm finding out. I think the two drops are really where the keys to this deck maybe thrive. Ooh, I played this deck so you don't have to. Ooh, that's a great tagline. That's great. Do you have any catnip? That's great. You're an all-star, Porman Glenn, dude. You're a genius. Come, <laughs> come write YouTube titles for me. That's great, great, great. Um. Really, predation is going to be the most useless for us, right? Because I just don't have a Naga in hand. Yeah. These we can play together next turn, so it might have some utility. Oh, cool. It's right back. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, all right, we're still going to rip this. I need to get damage moving. We have to play out cards, right? We have to dump cards. We have to move damage. Relic will clear, but... Probably not the thing they're most excited to double up there. I will absolutely Predation face, by the way. If I need to. Which I think I do. I don't know if it's right to save the... No, I'm going to play the card this turn, because there's a chance we get a we get a, uh, a a dude off the top. A Magistrate, and I need the hand to be emptier. Also, the kind of time scale of the game, I'm, I'm sort of hoping to end the game before any of that becomes as relevant. 
Um, I lose one damage like this, but I think I think clearing the minion is really important. So, not really important, but a little important. I think it's a little important. Oh my god, can I attack face if I play this, guys? I still don't know how this works. To this day, I don't know how this works. Chat, you're not giving me any confidence. I want to do it anyway, right? Because I get a card. If I can, I, I want to do it because I get a card and I, I activate a bigger buff on Kurtz's as well. Now, now chat's catching up finally. <laughs> to me, it's already happened. I've already done it and chat is finally catching up on the time delay. And they're like, yeah, it works for you. Just, yeah. So to me, it looks like you guys are saying it after I've already done it. <laughs> like I already showed you that it worked. And now you're saying, yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, Regis, do it, do it, Regis, it works. They don't, oh, they're just very dead. Okay, cool, awesome. Well, when this deck works, it works. I mean, there's no question about that. I don't even feel like this was the cleanest uh, setup we had, but was pretty nice, yeah. Looking beautiful today. Thanks, man. My hair's doing this weird thing on the side. It's been doing this lately. I think this side's like a little short or something and it pops out weird. It's got a funny little cowlick to it, but but yeah, I think it's all right. Glaive is pretty good against eating minions. Um, little one ones tend to pop out little little sinful chefies. <sighs> With the Vanguard, I guess we put the Glaive out on one instead of the Slither Spear, right? We don't have a spell anyway, so. Make sure we set up the Vanguard here. I'm not going to attack yet. I think having multiple swings could be very useful later. What is it? Hey, that's a great target to hit. Nice. Oh, my. All right. Starting to see the openers here now. <laughs> this, this looks like a good opener. Uh, yeah, this feels strong. I, I guess I got to ask, am I kicking out the Magistrate? Never, right? I'm kicking out whatever comes off the top. I think we Slither Spear Biblio might. I mean, maybe something's better than Slither Spear. We play it instead, but generally I think these and we kick out whatever's off the top and then Magistrate um, is insane. Uh, yeah, I, th I think since I have Magistrate, the, the Fossil Fanatics actually overkill, right? We don't really need that. Um, it's actually a liability. So let's, let's dump the Fanatic. Magistrate next turn's awesome. Hmm. I, I technically have a board space problem here. I, I I don't think I hold for the record. I think I still go. I think they're probably gonna, you know, have something that I can trade in some way or another. But uh, kind of a liability, maybe a risk. Yeah, there you go. I'd honestly be pretty impressed up if they were heads up enough to uh to not play a minion there and, and reduce the, the kind of reach I had here. Wow, what a turn though, man, jeez. All right, I don't have a Naga, so. Uh, they also dumped their hand a lot, so they're gonna get a, a bunch of cards as well here. I, I'm looking for maybe a uh, dispose of evidence to help me push through this freely. Nothing playable instead. Yes, that's okay. How are we doing trades here, man? I, I don't know. This feels weird. You have light right. Strike now. This is weird. I, I, I feel like I'm trading way too much, but at the same time, I'm protecting higher value assets, so I don't know. I don't know. We have the hand reload right now. Is this guy a Naga, dude? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nine health Doomsayer, bro? What? <laughs> this guy's deck is like the craziest. I feel like he's literally playing an anti-demon uh, hunter deck right now. Do I have any like lethals? 10 and four is 14. I mean, I bet it's closer than, than anyone would like to admit. Um, okay, I mean, surely I can just push through this thing, right? This is not a Naga, though. This is seven with a multi-strike. I... 
I think at this phase, I'm just going face, right? Like, I don't respect the 1 2 that much. Kind of technically lost a 1 1. I could have traded this in and got an extra 1 1, but I just don't think it's worth enough, enough for that. Okay, that's a good turn. I, the multi strike basically let me clear that Doomsayer without any real any real risk, which is nice. What's it? What is this deck, dude? Did this guy accidentally queue up his arena deck? I'm so confused. <laughs> I, don't, I absolutely don't know what's happening. I don't understand. Uh, what is our damage output here? Eight, ten, thirteen. Uh, I could go here is 16 and then fell barrage will hit face Right, I think I counted that right. As long as they're low enough fell barrage will Kill them nice Okay, I don't know what <laughs> this dude is playing like the it was a jailer on five deck Oh, it's got like cheap minions to enable Kael'thas, I guess. Cavalry horn, Kael'thas stuff. I've seen people teasing that idea. 